1941. World War II was at its peak and so was international movement around this time. The nation was undergoing a drastic churn and the need of the hour was India's very own education system, the one soaked in national fervor and instilling a modern scientific temperament. Thus, the foundation of Pirla High School, Kolkata, was laid. The vision at that time, of course, because it, it was the British Raj, so the vision was to create nationalistic feeling. So the idea was to create an Indian atmosphere and uh, train the children, highest standards of education, uh, but a feeling of nationalism. On the urging of Gandhiji, my father took the initiative and uh, first of all established Vrinda uh, High School under the name of Hindi High School. Although it was an English medium school, but it was called Hindi High School to give a more nationalistic uh, flavor. Seeds of this legacy school in Kolkata that went on to produce many geniuses were laid more than thousand miles away and long before 1941 in the form of a modest patshala. My grandfather's grandfather established a patshala, village patshala, in our village in Pilani for education of the children. In its journey of several years, the institution has attained many milestones. Today, Birla schools in Kolkata are a family of three prestigious institutions with three distinct visions that lead to one goal, enlightening young minds. It is 78 years old. It was just three years ago that we had our grand Platinum Jubilee celebrations. It is moving from strength to strength and the results of the school are absolutely mind-boggling. Practically every child gets above 80% and we are proud to say that we must be the school in the city producing maximum IITs in a year and our students get admission into the best engineering and medical colleges and even get admission seats abroad. The legacy of 78 years of Birla High School narrates some greatest stories of inspiration. From laying the foundation of nationalistic education to practicing the modern pedagogies, the institution has not only kept up with the times, but also has been crafting change makers of tomorrow. Our mission statement is to impart value-based education and to create independent, free-thinking individuals who will combine service with excellence. Our school has been the winner of a many a prestigious awards. The commitment of the teaching faculty and of course the administrative planning that has gone into uh, designing the whole thing. The teachers of Birla High School have always been uh, caring and that care has always shown in the personality of their students and the results of the school. Committed teachers and a set of modern teaching aids not just facilitate learning in a congenial atmosphere here, but also promote a spirit of inquiry, inquisitiveness and a desire to innovate. In robotics, there are three parts. The body, the sensors and the brain. We've been learning robotics for three years now. First, we learned about mechanical assembly. That is how to build the body of the robot. Then we learned about different types of sensors and then finally, we learned how to program the brain of the robot. A combination of all of these is what completes a robot. On one hand, the young scientists experiment with their different tools and apparatus. And 
on the other, the musicians of tomorrow present their magical composition. This is among the various compositions that I've learned in this school. This piece is named Waltz Opus 64 No. 1 by Frederick Chopin. I have been playing the piano for 10 years and I have now started teaching. I have made many friends in this band and it has all been possible because this school has provided ample opportunities to learn various instruments like the tabla, the sitar, the keyboard, the violin and it has also provided vocal training as an option. In the field of sports, the school doesn't lag behind either and champs like Harshit receive the right training to glide into their world of dreams. Along with two of my friends, I have won at the state level and participated in the national championship. I am grateful to my school for having given me an excellent coaching for this and I am proud that because of this, I have won many awards. I have a son and uh, I thought uh, appropriately he should be studying in the same school as in which I was. So he is here since inception, he is in class 3. Uh, the teachers uh, have a very strong base given to the students here and I think I am seeing it with my son. I really enjoyed being here. I, I remember very distinctly the only award I used to get in the school was for 100% attendance. Since we had an established uh, boys school for many years, uh, it was uh, my late mother-in-law's wish that why not we have a, a girls school. So uh, in 1994, we were able to start the girls' school uh, in my late mother-in-law's name. And the vision has always been that the girls also have to be equally educated and uh, come up in life. So Sheila Birla Girls' School was founded in 1994 with the vision to empower the girl child. The school's mission is to motivate students so that they may achieve their full potential and grow towards a better future. We teach the children to uh, question, we teach the children to uh, apply their logic and reasoning and uh, because it is important for them to be thinking individuals rather than becoming followers. We want them to be leaders of tomorrow and uh, unless they are thinking and they are uh, questioning the norms uh, it, that's not going to be possible. Tell me what are these? These are hands, but the special thing about these hands are that they are empty. Well, this is the literal meaning of Karate. Karate is a Japanese martial arts which is one of the most famous arts which is performed in many schools and I'm really very lucky to be in such a school who has Karate as one of the sports. Ours is absolutely a new branch. We have just begun in April 2018 to carry the legacy which is already there in Moira Street. The tagline of our school is inspired by excellence and driven by technology, where it's a co-educational school and aiming towards futuristic education. Here at Birla High School, Mukundapur, I think we believe in children being happy because we believe that if a child is happy, then the learning comes automatically. So we have happy learners here and we make sure that we do not follow the rote method. We believe in flexibility and tandem teaching and we are not following the typical kind of, you know, the sequence of the letters. We try to keep in mind that the children are very small and so we are taking care to see that the motor control is developed. We have a very small bag and this is what it is like. 
it is an A4 size bag so the children are not burdened with a heavy bag so um, as per our uh, founders vision that is freeing the mind the reason being we want the children to be themselves and not force them into the rigmarole of studies from the pre-independence era to the modern age of globalization times have changed but the goal of Birla school hasn't they continue to significantly contribute to nation's education system and produce out of the box thinkers and future leaders